thing going on. And this is actually copper. So it's actually what people think of as making brushes and conducting electricity and all that stuff. And look, it's is it just moving around right now? On its own? It's going to slow down. It's just weird how you've got it on different shapes and things, and it's conducting magnetism in different ways. It's kind of cool. discovers that it's out, it invalidates all paths. It's spinning. Let's see what it's done if you come out with it publicly too early. So. Can I show you the devices? The thing is really going back and forth quite a bit. Shouldn't it have calmed down by now? But are you attributing its behavior to something? Well, I don't know. I'm just wondering if something has to do with this shit here. <laughs> nah, free energy. Free energy. What was it? <laughs> I'm just going to call it free energy or cheap. Energy cheap is in the amount of work that goes in to produce it. That's a great so point. trying to get the same work right now. We make by using nature electricity, like sun power at a certain or they have cost, to dam up and rivers river. and flood valleys and create so, you know for hydroelectric. Kind of like, to it's just whatever we think about whether it's going down. getting nature to do the work or getting. You know, now talking about tidal energies, and I said, what are we going to do, dude? Are we going to, like, totally screw up the tides of the ocean because we've created things that resist the moving of currents off our coast? So our coasts just die because now we're getting the neat thing about electricity and magnetism and all that stuff. It's it's everywhere. It's all flowing around us and moving around us at all times. I think there's got to be a better way to get this energy without causing so much trouble, you know?